Hello water signs, this is Dee and I hope you all are doing well. Thank you for joining me here on my channel. To my current and new subscribers, thank you for your support. It is greatly appreciated. Water signs, if you are not following me on Instagram, I welcome you to join me there. You can find me at you are following D2. So water signs, this is a general reading for you from the soul connections when two hearts meet love oracle cards, which may or may not resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, just let it pass. In other words, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. And if you came across this message, and if you have water in your chart anywhere, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, and this message resonates with you, then it's for you. So let's get to your message water signs god most high angel spirit guys beings of love and light the holy spirit what is the message for the water signs that's for their greatest and highest good from the soul connections when two hearts meet love oracle cards this is for cancer scorpio and pisces all right let's see what you have water signs you have rejoice embrace your loving connection and rejoice so I feel like you're being encouraged to really appreciate the love connection that you have and embrace it, really honor it. It doesn't matter if things are not perfect. It's okay. Still embrace it. It's all a part of the process. So really take a moment to enjoy your divine connection and really appreciate it. So let's get to your extended message on rejoice. Yeah, be very happy and grateful for the relationship you have, for the connection that you have. Because, you know, there are people who would love to have the connection and relationship that you have. So appreciate it. Every part of it. It doesn't matter that it's not perfect. That's the beauty of relationships you grow together you learn more about one another you evolve together you work together you just really help one another in relationships it's about that union that connection that bond and so as it relates to rejoicing water signs now is the time to be happy so be happy in your relationship don't nitpick at the little things. Don't. Okay, just don't. <laughs> Be grateful for the loving relationship that you have. Be joyful towards your divine soul counterpart and celebrate this amazing blessing because it's a blessing. I'm telling you, you know, water signs, there are so many people who love to have the relationship you have. Don't look at those little minor minute things we're all growing we're all evolving we're all still individuals even though we may be in a relationship still you're growing you're evolving you're developing you know it's a part of the process so don't let those little things be stumbling blocks or things that create a wedge work it out talk it out be supportive one to another so back to the extended message, be joyful towards your divine soul counterpart and celebrate this amazing blessing. Welcome your union with gladness and let love fill your heart. The appearance of this card suggests it is time to celebrate the love of your life. Celebrate it. Be grateful. Be um appreciative because of your union embrace your loving connection it is a divine connection it doesn't mean that it has to be or will ever be perfect what is important is that it is a divine beautiful connection there were amazing things about you all that drew you together allow that energy to remain allow that energy um, to be reflected upon recall the reasons why you were so excited about one another recall those uh, times and embrace that energy and again 
work through, talk out the little things that may um, you that you may find that are irritating, frustrating, annoying, even because no relationship is perfect. All those things are a part of it. Allow those things to to serve as sandpaper, because you know when. When, when a craftsman is working on a piece of furniture, right? And there may be some rough edges on the furniture, okay? What does the, craft, the craftsman do? The craftsman takes sandpaper, right? Which also has that rough side and a smooth side to it, right? So it takes that rough side of the sandpaper and it uses that rough side against the rough side of the wood and it begins to really smooth out the roughness by adding some friction, right? Um, adding some pressure to it, right? And then when the craftsman is done doing that, right? They flip over the sandpaper and then they smooth out that particular spot or that particular area of the wood and it brings like this smoothness to it, right? So see those little things as sandpaper that can cause a little friction, but with some TLC, tender love and care, it can all be smoothed out. You see what I'm saying? You see where we're going with this? So don't allow those little things to create a wedge, cause friction. You know, those little things are just little pieces of sandpaper that are going to cause a little friction that can be worked out and smoothed out that's going to allow the relationship to be even more of a loving bond, a more cohesive relationship, cohesive bond as those little things are worked out. And trust me, when you work out those little things, there'll be more because that's just the way it is. And the more you're able to work out those little things, the, the more you become aware of how easy it is to work through those things. And so allow yourself the opportunity to work those little things out, those little kinks out, but rejoice, embrace the loving connection that you have. It is a blessing. Trust me, it is a blessing. And someone would love to have the loving, beautiful relationship that you have. Someone would love to have a bond that you have with your partner, with your person, with your boo, with your soul mate, with your twin flame, with your lover. <laughs> Someone would love to have it. So embrace it, rejoice, be happy, and allow everything just to continue to work out naturally. Embrace the, the, the beautiful moments that you have they are much greater than the little small things that you may allow to get in the way. Don't allow those things to distract you. Focus on the beauty that you have in this lovely union, this lovely connection, this beautiful relationship. All right, more signs. So this is your message. I hope it has been helpful. Um, if you are new to my channel, don't think that you found me by coincidence or by happenstance. It's a divine connection. So I encourage you to press the subscribe button. It is free to subscribe. And I would love to have you just seal the relationship, the connection by doing so. Because I would love to have you join us here. So thanks for watching Water Signs. Take good care of yourselves. And until the next time, um, 
rejoice in your relationship, okay? I will talk to you soon, all right? So bye for now, Water Signs.